Okay, today we're going to install the uh, hydraulic hardware onto the uh, Hosfeld number no. two bender. We're going to take a manual bender and make it into a hydraulic bender. First of all, you need to install the three quarter by six plate, which we have already done. And that just uh, bolts to the mainframe. You take the spacers, take the bolts out, take the spacers out, put the uh, mainframe back in. All the bolts and everything are provided. You're also going to install on your swinging frame, you're going to install your swinging frame plates. Once again, provided nuts and bolts also are provided. So you just take them out, slide them in, tighten them down, good to go. Okay, the first thing that we do is we take our uh, swinging frame support plate on here. That uses a three quarter pin, slides right in there. Now we're going to install the ratchet bar. Slides on here. Down, slides right inside the swinging frame support plate. Or swinging frame support arm once again. Quarter plate slides right in. Uh, we've also took the liberty of installing the ratchet bar handle onto the ratchet bar. Uh, that just bolts onto the support plate with the bolts and nuts that we're providing. Then the next step is to install the swinging uh, or the uh, ratchet bar guide. That slides in there once again. As you can see, everything's going together real simple. Right now we've got all the hardware that, uh, that we need on the bender. Everything is uh, ready. That what we need to install now would be the, uh, uh, the cylinder. And that just, that just slides on here. There's a 5 8 pin. It slides right there. 5 8 pin, 5 8 pin back in. Once again, everything went together. I, I, haven't, I haven't had to pound anything together. Uh, we usually lubricate our, uh, lubricate our uh, ratchet bar, all the moving parts. We use a Luma Lube. And all it does is come in a spray bottle and you just give it a little spray. Spray her up good. Now I'm going to install the, uh, I'm going to uh, install the cylinder onto the swinger frame. I'm going to have to leave the picture for a minute. We'll come back over here. Once again, now you now have a hydraulic bender. That's how simple it is.